Sagittarius hello welcome to my channel I'm and this is the week ahead reading for the sign of Sagittarius some of rising in Venus or wherever you have a heavy Sagittarius placement the first message that we have here is who are you all right so just right off the bat I feel like this reading is going to be very specific because when this card comes out this signifies a very high level soulmate or a twin flame connection. So if you are wondering if your person was indeed your twin or your soulmate, depending on how you identify, the answer is yes, okay? I'm also getting that you and your person are so compatible that it's actually scary, okay? This energy is very, very intense and it's very, very specific. There was something that happened in the recent past or upon coming in contact with you, that major person asks themselves this question. They genuinely wonder who you are and where you came from. And this is due to an extreme level of chemistry that they have with you. I'm also getting that they never thought they would meet someone like you, okay? You stand out from anyone that they have ever met. I'm also getting that as amazing as this is, okay, this may confuse them a little bit, but it's also intriguing, okay? This mysterious element that you have in your connection is what's actually holding your person's attention, okay? Or what's held their attention thus far. I'm getting that you have this ability to pull on them emotionally and sexually in a way that they have never experienced before. So much so that it causes them to ask themselves this question over and over again, okay? When you're in your when you're in your person's presence, you may notice that they stare at you a little longer than usual, okay? Or the eye contact just may be extremely intense. And this is because your person sees you, okay? They see you very, very clearly at the stage of your connection. And what they are feeling goes beneath the surface. They see your soul, okay? And they're realizing that that is the part of you that they resonate the most with, right? For some of you, this was an instant thing. Like upon meeting your person, you felt this level of intensity. For others of you, something in the recent past happened, okay? There was a conversation, something you did or something you said struck them and made them question, who is this person, okay? So if you were wondering how this masculine is feeling about you at this very moment, they are in deep thought about you, okay? It's almost as if they wanna know more about you. They wanna know about your background. They wanna know where you come from, okay? They're taken aback a bit, but also really, really fascinated that they are actually excited, okay, about getting to know you on a much deeper level, okay? They really wanna peel back the layers, right? They wanna know the, the innermost parts of you, okay? I'm also getting that they feel extremely drawn to your energy because something about you is very similar to them, okay? But this is more of in a way that they can feel. They may not be able to see this outwardly, but they can definitely feel this. Your energy is very potent, okay? Or just the overall energy of this connection. It's very, very potent, very, very powerful, okay? Um, there's like, it's something that's acting as a magnetic force between the both of you. And your person right now at this stage is very eager to find out exactly what that is, right? They're intrigued, okay? And I'm getting that Depending on how energetic and energetically bonded you and your person are, you may be feeling this level of intensity as well, Divine Feminine, okay? Um, but your person is definitely at this place where they're really, really deep in thought, okay? They're realizing that this connection is much deeper than they initially thought, okay? And this is due to some type of exchange of information, either verbally or energetically, that kind of took your person completely by surprise, okay? So, wow. Let's get the next message here. The next message we have is come closer. 
okay? So, I'm getting that, okay, this masculine, if you're resonating with this message so far, your masculine does not trust people easily, okay? They may be someone where it's extremely hard to get past their um, exterior. They don't let people in easily, okay? And they may have approached this connection in the same manner. They may have started off being very, very cautious about you, okay? Not really knowing if they wanted to open up fully to you, not really knowing what would come of this connection, okay? And I don't think this, this didn't have anything to do with you. This just may be their natural disposition, okay? But where they stand right now, and based on whatever it was that they discovered about you or this connection, something has shifted within their energy. And it's almost as if they want you closer now. It's like they're craving you because they feel as if you are indeed a safe space, okay? I'm getting that this this very well may have been an issue in your connection, okay? Um, you may have picked up on your person's energy and you may have felt as if they weren't being 100% open with you, okay? And this could have very well been disappointing to you, Divine Feminine, because you felt as if you really didn't give them a reason, okay, initially for them to be defensive towards you, okay? But it's almost as if I'm getting this masculine was kind of like waiting to see something, okay, in you. It's like they were waiting to see a certain quality, okay? Or they were waiting to feel something that would let them know that you were in fact a safe space, okay? Um, and, and, and it's confusing because I'm getting that they may not have even known exactly what they wanted to see or what they were waiting to see from you because I'm getting that it's more of an energy. It was more of like an inner knowing, okay? But where they stand today, they feel as if it's safe to go deeper with you, okay? They may even feel a little bit foolish Simply because um, I'm getting clearly that, yeah, you gave them no reason to feel this way initially, okay? But this definitely may have, may have been due to something that they experienced external to your connection, okay? And they're realizing that this definitely caused a barrier within your connection here, okay? I'm getting that for, for some of you, okay, this connection or this realization that your person just came into, okay, about you was so intense that it kind of made them back off a little bit, okay? Because a lot of the times the masculine energy does have the tendency to pull back when things get really, really intense, just to kind of regroup and collect themselves, okay? And then they'll come back wanting to be even closer to you, wanting to be even more intimate, Okay, and this may be a little bit confusing to you, this hot and cold energy. But yeah, I'm definitely getting that um, they may have pulled their energy back a little bit. And now where they stand, they want to come rushing back in. And this time with, with a way more open heart space, okay, than they were at first. Let's get the next message here. Yeah, we have ignored my actions. Yeah, okay. So this masculine may be realizing that this connection is definitely way more powerful than they thought, okay? Because I'm getting clearly that the way they showed up is almost as if they were being strategic, okay? They didn't know what would come of this connection. So maybe they didn't pull, put all of their energy into it up front but something definitely switched, okay? Something you did or something you said changed the dynamic of this connection. And now as they look back, they almost feel ashamed of, of what they showed you initially, okay? They may have tried to handle this connection like they handled any other connection that they had in, they pa in their past, okay? They may have assumed for whatever reason that this would be just another casual situation, okay? Maybe this wouldn't be something long-term. And then out of nowhere, something made them question, who are you, okay? Something made them look at you and this connection a little bit deeper. And it's almost as if they were trying to analyze this whole thing. They were trying to make it make sense. And it doesn't make sense, okay? <laughs> this may be very specific, okay? But I definitely feel like you feel the same way, Divine Feminine. 
it may not make sense to you either. Like when you really go over the connection, how you met, where you are right now, there's a lot of things that just don't add up to you, okay? Um, I feel like you both may not have anticipated the power of this connection. And then out of nowhere, you both realize that this was something different, okay? And it's, it's like, yeah, they're looking back over something that they did or something that they said, or they could be telling you to ignore what they are doing right now because it's vastly different from what they know to be true, okay? And the truth is that something about this connection is sticking out to them, okay? And they don't fully understand it. So they may not be able to verbalize this. They may not be able to tell you what it is that they feel it's different, or they may not be able to communicate this to you, but this is something that they absolutely feel, okay? They're really tapping into the, the energetic bond between the both of you at this time, okay? They're really focused on how you're making them feel, how this connection is making them feel, okay? So they may not be able to put this into words, but based upon what they're feeling in their heart space, something has definitely been confirmed for them. Let's get the next message. Yeah, the next message is, what does all of this mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm picking up strongly that Divine Feminine, you're at a place where you genuinely question how your person feels about you, okay? I'm getting that you feel this level of intensity and you know that they feel it as well, but it's something that hasn't been expressed on both sides, okay? It's almost as if the only thing that seems to be lacking in this connection is the confirmation. It's some type of confirmation that you both need, okay? And there could be a lot of pressure around the communication at this time because it's almost as if you both may be avoiding having to state the obvious, okay? I'm getting that you are in love with one another, okay? You both are picking up on this intuitively. And Divine Feminine, you may not think that this masculine is fully tapped into your energy, but they absolutely are, okay? That may be why they're asking themselves these questions about you, because of the spiritual aspect of this, okay? I'm getting that you both are very intuitive, but it's showing up in, in two different ways, okay? I'm getting that Divine Feminine, you are able to pick up on what this masculine doesn't say, right? but they're kind of able to decode the things that you do say. So it, it's almost as if you have like this secret language that you're speaking, okay? And they're trying to make sense of it all because they've never felt this energetically bonded with anyone, okay? I'm getting that this connection may be so intense that it's actually scary and you both are feeling this way right now. And that's kind of why you both are navigating this connection in such a way where you literally feel as if something outside of yourself, okay, a higher power is constantly drawing you toward one another or providing you with information that they are feeling but they can't say, okay? Or you're actually saying, but you're not really saying, okay? Um, I hope this is coming across clearly, right? It's almost as if this masculine doesn't really know how you're feeling or even if you feel this level of intensity, but you do, okay? You, you absolutely feel this. So you both are being very cautious with how you interact with one another. But this also may be causing some type of delay, right? Because you both tend to overthink. You overthink what you want to say to one another. You overthink your next move, okay? I hope this is making sense so far. But the thing that keeps sticking out to me, the overall energy of this reading is that you and this masculine feel as if this connection is so intense that it's actually scary. And you both are being really, really cautious in how you engage one another, okay, at this time, which may be causing some type of delay, okay, which could be causing some miscommunication because there's, yeah, there's like this protective barrier. It's like you're almost being a little too cautious, okay, in, in your emotional expression. Let's get the next message here. Ooh. 
Wow. We have, I'm already committed to you. Wow, okay. <laughs> so I'm getting that this is how you both feel, okay? Your minds are already made up. You both have received some type of confirmation about the other. And deep down, you feel as if you're already committed to one another. <laughs> it's like, even, even if you're at a distance or if you're currently not together, it's like, you both have this unwavering faith, okay, in the other person and about this connection that you share. It's almost as if you know how this will end already. I'm getting that there may have been many signs that led you to believe that this is your person. This, yeah, this definitely is your person. So if you were confused about how they're feeling, this may serve as some type of confirmation for you because I'm getting that although you feel this way, although you absolutely know that this, like, this masculine is your person, there's like this underlying energy of doubt about how this all will unfold, okay? Um, but the truth is you both know that this connection is faded. And you both are being extremely cautious with one another because you feel extremely familiar. I'm getting that you both may have went through something, some type of hurt or something in the past, okay? And this was connected to your core relationships. So going into this, it's kind of like you both intended to keep the energy really light, okay? You didn't want to put any pressure on this connection. But the way that this unfolded was extremely unexpected and very, very powerful right and you both have already decided how this will end or or how this relationship will kind of progress right um i'm getting that this is a very very sacred bond you both feel as if you found your life partners okay and when we think about life partners and when we think about marriage there's a difference in being legally bonded with the person and being spiritually bonded okay the way that you both feel is that no matter where life takes you individually, you can see yourself loving your person almost through anything, okay? It's like this, this love that you have for your person is genuine and unconditional, and it's mutual as well, okay? Let's get the next message. The next message we have is wishful thinking. Wow. Wow. Yeah, the intensity of this connection actually scares you both, okay? It's so intense and so powerful that you actually question what will happen if this doesn't work out. You both are so confident that you found the one that it's scary, okay? It actually scares you. Like it's, it's exciting and it's exhilarating, but it's also terrifying in a very intense kind of way. So when things don't go as planned or when you experience delays in the connection, this is what you both tell yourself to justify what's happening. Oh, it's just, it's too good to be true. Or you just sum it up as wishful thinking because this is literally the connection of your dreams. You've actually met the person of your dreams, okay? And although that is a beautiful feeling, although that's amazing, it's also terrifying, okay? And I'm getting that you both feel this way. This is what your person is currently thinking about. It's almost as if like you go through life having different experiences with different people, okay? And these don't necessarily have to be bad people or bad experiences, but they just don't quite fit, okay? You just don't feel that spark. You feel as if something is missing. And then you cross paths with someone and they say or, or they do something and you say to yourself, who is this person? Like it literally stops you in your tracks, right? And you know that this experience will be unlike anything you have ever experienced in your life. And so naturally you treat it differently, okay? But it's like this masculine, they, they don't want to mess this up. They're being extremely cautious about how they navigate this situation. And when you are forced to go either your separate ways, okay, or there's some type of lag in, in the progress in, a, in, in the connection or there's some type of lag in the communication, you tell yourself it's too good to be true. 
that this person is too good to be true, okay? If this is resonating so far, you literally feel as if you've met the person of your dreams. You both are super intuitive, okay? You both have the ability to read what the other is feeling. You can't hide from the other, okay? This level of intensity, right? To feel as if, as if you're looking into a mirror is scary and exciting. And it's like you feel all the feels all at once. And if you were doubting at all, um, you don't have to, you know, this, this is your person and they know this as well. But I definitely feel like when you experience moments in the connection where things don't go as planned, um, you both have this thing where you just chalk it up as wishful thinking, okay? This is too good to be true. You know what I mean? Um, well, that's, that's kind of, it's, it's really beautiful when you think about it in the sense it's like you both have literally met the person of your dreams and you're very cautious about how this whole thing is gonna unfold, okay? So yeah, I definitely feel like you both are kind of being extremely intentional about how you move, what it is that you say, how you represent yourself in a connection, but it's almost as if you're being a little bit too cautious. You could be too cautious, okay? To the point where it's causing a bit of a delay here because you both want to handle this connection with care. I'm getting, okay, let's let's pull one more card. Let's pull a bonus card. Okay, so the last card we have is, I want the best for you. Wow, okay, this, this is very, very intense energy, okay? But I'm getting that this masculine is very territorial over you, Divine Feminine, even if they don't show it, okay? They know where, where you stand in your connection right now, they know that you deserve more, okay? They know that you expect more from them as well. And they have this deep fear of you moving on to someone else who can actually give you this love that you deserve, right? And in their mind, they see you with them and only them, okay? They really want you to have the best of the best. And honestly, regardless of where you are on your journey right now, they truly believe that they are the best for you, okay? The things that you've done together, the chemistry alone is unmatched. And at this moment, they know that there is no one else who can love you like they can love you. But there's also, they have like a deep level of respect for you, okay? And they really, really feel that anyone would be lucky to have you. But if they're being completely honest, they just can't see it. And they probably would never say this to you, or they feel like you would never admit this as well, but they feel like this is something that you both feel. It's almost as if they are realizing that in order for you to have the best, they have to be the best for you. They don't want to see someone else loving you, okay? Because there will always be this feeling like the other person is not doing it right or that the other person will never know you how they know you, okay? And I'm getting just the thought of you being with someone else is just enough to kind of send them over the edge, okay? But they're awakening to the fact that, that this is definitely a possibility, okay? Maybe you express this to them. Maybe they can feel your energy. Maybe too much time has gone by and they wonder if you're moving on for good here. Something about this energy is very anxious that I feel, okay? But it's almost as if your person is saying, you deserve the best, okay? They are aware of this and they don't wanna see you being with anyone else. So they know that they have to become better. Wow, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end the reading here, okay? If you resonated with this message, be sure to hit the like button on the way out and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye.